selfish are you guys if you miss a post today? Because you didn't like how you look? I'm not sounding that good. Oh, my makeup's off. Fuck you. Someone is needing that message more than air. I was in prison clinging to life daily. So many fucking push-ups to bring me past the tears that were building up inside me. I'd have 14 months stretch in the shoe where I didn't see another fucking person except in a dog cage. Long-term lockdowns where it's just me and a celly if I had one. And these quotes and these books, this universal wisdom, I would just be cranking out workouts and ingesting positive fucking affirmations, positive quotes and universal wisdom. And it cured me every fucking time. Low frequency motherfuckers don't realize that they wake up that way and they have to earn it. How selfish. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And we just saw that quick clip, all right, of the motiva uh, the motivational speaker, Wes Watson. All right, and I've uh, been following this uh, individual for quite some time now. All right, I'm going to say maybe going on three years. Definitely a solid two. And, you know, a lot of uh, things that he says, all right, we can relate this to the truth. All right. And um, pretty much, you know, this individual... I'll say this, uh, if you don't know him, he uh, basically, he did a, um, you know, a decent, um, he did a decent amount of time, all right, in jail, okay, and, you know, from there, he uh, developed a, um, did this, uh, this work ethic, all right, you know, he always talks about it, you know, this guy, he's very disciplined, all right, he's on his grind all the time. And he doesn't take things for granted, all right? And um, with that all being said, you know, we, we got to uh, be in that same spirit, okay? And in this particular video clip, all right, he was talking about how, you know, you got people out there, you know, that run a business, you know, via social media, okay? And, you know, they didn't make a, a, a post that day. And, you know, like how he said... You know, they, there's particular people who, who who need these things, all right? They they need, you know, that particular person they, that they follow, all right, to, you know, uh, uh, make a video, even if it's short. And with that all being said, you know, we, as men of the Lord, we got to constantly feed the flock, all right? Because we never know who needs to hear this message, all right? We, we don't know who needs to hear this message. You see, and this is why it's so important that we constantly, you know, you know, pump out these videos. All right. To the best of our ability. OK, and this is what Yahweh Shai said. So let's get these scriptures now. Let's get um, John uh, tw uh, chapter 21. Uh, we'll start at verse 14 and it reads here. This is now the third time that Yahweh Shai showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined. Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Feed my sheep. All right. So Yahweh Shai told Simon Peter, all right, which is the apostle uh, Peter, he told him three times, which uh, uh, three, all right, if you know, um, the meaning behind the numer uh, uh, the uh, numerology behind that three uh, goes into understanding. He told he asked Peter three times, "Do you love me?" And then he he, he told him uh, uh, three times as well, "Feed my sheep." Then, okay, if you love me, feed my sheep. So if we love you, how shy, brothers? All right, 
we got to feed the sheep. Okay? And look, I'll say this. You were put in this position. Whatever position you have, you were put in that position for a reason. And with that being said, don't take it for granted. Okay? Fulfill your lot. Accomplish, you know, these goals that are in front of us. All right? And these things are very important because you never know uh, who needs to hear these messages. All right? And like that uh, guy Wes Watson said, you know? He said, hey, you, you never know who needs to hear this. He said when he was in, you know, prison, that he he, he basically uh, was uh, um, reading a lot of books because he was in lockdown a lot. Okay? And that helped him get through his um his time. All right? You know, he, he, he was basically thanking those people who wrote these books. Okay? You see? All right? But let's get um, let's get this uh real quick. Cause look, it says in the book of Sirach, the thirty third chapter. Give me a second to find it. I think it's the seventeenth verse. Yep, this is Sirach thirty three and seventeen. It says here, consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. See this labor that we you know put uh, that that we do that we put in, it's not only just for us. Okay, brothers, remember that. It's for those who are seeking learning. Those who need to get comforted. Remember, hey, I'll say this. Hey, there's a, a few scriptures that talk about uh, uh, comfort, uh, comforting one another with words. See, a, a, a lot of times... Um, Salakia, hold on, where is it at? Here we go. A lot of times, the best thing... Or the, 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 the greatest uh, help to a brother is just uh, you uh, comforting, uh, comforting them with words, man. Okay? And I'll say this. Sometimes you're not always going to be able to talk to a brother in person over the phone. Alright? Majority of the time is through these videos. You see? And then I'll say this. A, lo a lot of uh, uh, individuals out there who believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? We haven't met them. We don't know who they are, you know. But I'll say this: Hey, you, you got a lot of um, uh, a lot of followers, so to speak. That they, they, they love the way you speak, man, brothers. Hey, remember that. I don't care if you have, you know, five subscribers or five thousand, man. Somebody they likes the way you 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 teach, man. Okay, and they and they connect with you, so to speak. Okay. All right. So keep pumping out these videos. All right, but let's get this. This is a uh, First Thessalonians five and eleven. Wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify uh, one another, even also ye do. Okay, so we're supposed to comfort uh, ourselves. All right, but let me get the one where it says comfort each other with these words. Let me get that. I know it's in Thessalonians. I believe. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it's 4 and 18. Here we go. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, you see? All right? And this is... Um, this is in uh, first or 2 Maccabees 15. And um, I'll start at 11. All right? And they, you've got to remember, Israel was... Dealing with uh, warfare at this time, okay? Thus he armed every one of them, not so much with defense of swords and spears, as with comfortable and good words. You see, hey, the carnal things weren't, the, you know, the, um, the main defense, all right? It was with these, those words, man, all right? Those words were, were, were key. All right, those words were were key. And this is Judas Maccabee speaking. All right, and it says, and besides that, he told them a dream worthy to be believed, as if it had been so indeed, which did not a little uh, rejo rejoice. And let me go down a little bit. All right, 
just to get to the point. Thus being well comforted by the words of Judas. See, the men were comforted by the words of Judas, which were very good and able to stir them up to valor. Hey, hey your, your words can, you know, get that, uh, get a man in the right spirit. Remember that, Akim. It says, um, to stir them up to valor and to encourage the hearts of the young men. They determined not to pitch camp, but courageously to set up them and manfully to try the matter by conflict because the city and the sanctuary and the temple were in danger. Okay, and remember, hey, we're in danger right now. All right, we're behind enemy lines. All right, hey, the enemy's trying to besiege us. All right, actually, I'll say this we're, we're, we're being besieged as we speak. He saw us ready to pounce on us. Okay, and we got to be those watchmen. All right. That are blowing the trumpet. That are warning the people of the things to come. Of the evils that are fast approaching. So they can get ready. So they can brace for impact. You know? You see? And I'll say this. Look, man. It, it doesn't matter if you're tired, man. It doesn't matter if you're not feeling good. Now, of course, you know, take this with a grain of salt. All right? The point being, though, it doesn't matter uh, if you're tired. Or you're not feeling well. If you're, um... O overworked if you're you know if you want a little bit of free time to yourself it doesn't matter you gotta put this work in man all right and like i said of course take what i'm saying with a grain of salt you know point being you can't neglect your job man you're a watchman you you gotta warn hey the people all right but let's get this um i want to get that uh scripture that says i do all things for the elect's sake all right because this is not just about you remember that this is not uh, just about you, man. This is um um Second Timothy two. What does nine say? Let me see what nine says. Where for I suffered. Let's just get to the point. This is um man. Let's just get to the point. This is Second uh, Timothy two and ten. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. So whatever comes your way, you deal with it, okay? doesn't matter if you're, you know, like I said, tired, sick. If you're going through, you know, issues in your house, financial woes, etc. doesn't matter, man. You got to deal with all these things for the elect's sake. Because look, if you love your house, you're going to feed his flock, all right? And it says here um, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach with eternal glory. See, we do these things because by us, you know, preaching this word, okay, they, we ourselves and those that hear can be saved, man, by this word. All right? Because that says that, um, where's that at? Actually, I think it's in Timothy, if I'm not mistaken, as well. You know what? Maybe it's in 1 Timothy. Let me see if I can find that. Or is that in Peter? No, it's right here. This is what it says here. In 1 Timothy 4 and 16, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear it. Alright? You see? You know, if we, if, we, if we continue in this doctrine, we follow you know, what's written. Hey, you know, we, we preach this word to, 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 you know, fellow Israelites. They, they, they listen to this word, take heed. They start following what, what's being said. We, hey, we can get saved, man. And this is what it's all about. We're trying to get salvation here. All right. So, hey, put in that goddamn work, man. Let's get that last scripture, man. Let's get, get this last scripture here. It just came to mind. Let's get that Hebrews 4 and 11. All right. This is Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. At least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Main point is, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. We got to put that work in so we can get the hell out of here, man. Okay? You see? And look, we're going to get rewarded for our works, man. Yahweh Shema Shai is not going to forget uh, you know, our works and our labor of love. You see? All right, but um, that's pretty much it. Hey, brothers, men who are, you know, out there teaching, feeding the flock, hey, continue to, uh, to do these things. All right, hey, don't neglect your, um, your lot, your role. 
You see? Continue to push, continue to uh to, to preach. Because it's much needed. Hey, remember, hey, the script, because no, well, I'll say this. We have our ultimate savior, which is Yahweh Shai, no doubt about it, right? Alright, he is the he he's that you know, that um what is it, uh that chief shepherd, I believe that that's how it's worded. Okay. Yeah, but the scriptures also say that, you know, hey, we're shepherds ourselves and we're what? Saviors. Out of Mount Zion shall come saviors, man. All right, that's in Obadiah, the last verse. One in, uh, uh, well, I think one in 18, if I'm not mistaken, or one in 21. All right. You know, so remember that, hey, we're saviors too. And it's all through Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right, but uh, that's pretty much it. You know, hopefully this was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises. Honor and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.